Hi guys, this is Catapult for HSNG.com, and I'm playing a probably random player, but I guess he could potentially be a rig. It's just that if he has a rig, he's extremely strange in the way he plays. So this is a $360 Hyper Turbo, around 1.6% rig. It's so weird. No, I mean, he 3 bets quite a bit, that's why it's weird. I mean, I'm considering shoving there, it's not what he does. I'd love to call, uh, but even calling, if he's playing very weak post flop, could be an option. Holding is the safe bet. Sorry about the sound. Uh, I'll try to turn it down. He also seems to have a donking range that's much wider than for most regs. Probably includes a lot of his value and draws from what I've seen, which is not a lot because he's only played a couple games. So his checking range is extremely weak, and as you can see, he's holding the seabed 71% of the time. What I might do to try to exploit that is actually just reduce the size of my seabed because if he always has air and is holding, then we don't need to be betting very big. And we can just bet the larger on the turn as standard, like maybe two thirds. So that we can still get full value. Like here, uh, checks. I don't think he has 8 9. I don't think he has a bunch of stuff that most people would have. It's possible, of course, but not as much the way he's played it. He may still just uh, check stuff like uh, the 10. And he has made very weird plays, so uh, I'm not uh, going to be that surprised if he even raises that. He also 3x's some and min raises occasionally. Again, this is very uncharacteristic for most people, so I was a bit wary of his 3x, thinking that it's quite strong, and that's why I shoved, but he is doing that quite a lot. So, hmm, give or take about 50% of hands. Uh, what that would make me do normally is just shove a lot if that's going to continue, but I don't know yet. So I'm still a little cautious on the shoving. It's also raising C bets quite a bit, which will make me more likely to barrel him off of hands later. So many things he does uh, make his range kind of skewed towards flop uh, strength, and that, of course, as a result, makes you weaker on later streaks. It's also making the pot, again, quite big, 3x. So, yeah, I'm starting to think it's not actually that strong, but he's probably going to be calling much wider just to not get completely exploited. All right, here. Again, because I think he does do this with draws, I am going to call, and in general it is a call. But uh, it's not always the easiest situation since if he barrels, I still don't know what his ranges are like. I'm going to check again, hoping he bluffs. So I, I think he he has a draw, he's probably still calling a bit, but he, he might... Uh, wow, okay, that's, that's very strange, so... To donk with complete air essentially, but hand that could potentially be strong enough to even call sometimes. And then he does not bet the flush draw, which is incredibly strange. Hmm. I don't know why the ordering is like this then. I'd have expected it to be in order of how recent it is, but whatever. Again, I'm thinking that he's going to raise here sometimes, and I would want to shove. Problem is, I don't know exactly what he'd have as a draw. Like five six is already straight. Obviously, he could have flush draws. I'm not doing great against those, but uh, I'm going to call. I'm just going to call. I'm going to call and see if he shuts down or not. He did shut down with the king five, even though he had a flush draw. So he might be extremely passive here. Very, very skewed towards flop play if he's really not playing 
as well on each one. And yeah, it's a good draw. Slightly considering shoving over him here. But he did bet the king uh, five suited. And uh, that was a very strong hand. He bet in the same manner. Very strange. It's probably very trappy, too. The way he's been kind of making these small bets of strong hands. He's pretty typical of a player that's trying to really trap you. Some people like to shove here. I don't see a point because uh, we're getting a situation where we can never fold post flop anyway, so maybe he's going to make a stupid fold. No, he won't. I like to wait for them to accept the rematch so that they feel more invested in future games. He might be done. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a very short video in that case.